Heavenly Crest, a Midnight Siphon and Raining Gold. Gain 10 gold now and 1 gold every round. That's kind of cool. Midnight Siphon. Gain a Yorick. You're strong as Yorick. We already tried this. It's a carry armor. It's cool. But we already tried this. Heavenly Crest is bugged right now. So we're waiting for a patch. We are on PBE. The set just came out. So there's a lot of bugs. Raining Gold. Like a freaking Babus. Freaking... Ooh, I hit Exalted again. Let's go, guys. Okay. As always, we are on the new set, guys, on PvE. You can play on pbe.leagueoflegends.com, I believe. You can make an account and play. And we are playing Exalted right now, which is one of the new traits, which is probably the most interesting trait. It's my first time playing it. As always, I will explain all the traits and everything right now that I will play, but not what the enemies will play and stuff, because that would... Uh, like, I, I literally can't talk that fast, right? But anyway, so Exalted is a very interesting trait. Your team gains 5% bonus damage plus more based on your level. 1% uh, per level, or if you play 5 Exalted, 3% per level, okay? So a very nice splash trait, late game, you just play 3 Exalted. Very nice. After combat, store 2 XP in a soul core. Sell, sell the core to claim the XP. Right here, we get the soul core, boom, and we level up for free. Did it just take money from me? Yo, did it just take money? Did it take two gold? No, it didn't, right? It didn't, right? I I'm tripping, right? I'm tripping. No, it didn't. Okay. Okay. So, the Exalted trait is very interesting because it always is on different units, guys. Every game, different units are Exalted. Okay, and you can check it here. These are the Exalted units. There can never be units Exalted that have three traits. Like, Kindred has three traits, always. But Kobuko could be Exalted, for example, right? Because he only has two traits. There will never be a four-trait champion. They don't do that, but yeah. So, um, and there's like pre, I watched Luduck's video today on it, and um, he said that there's pre, and he's 100% he's right because he checks these things, he's not stupid, right? But anyway, so um, Luduck was saying that there is predetermined things, it's not fully random, they don't just take random champions and they're exalted, it's predetermined. So Riot uh, made some lists, a bunch of different combos of champions that can be exalted together, and th those are the ones. So this game, you can see we have Caitlyn, Cho'Gath, Elune, Galio, and Lee Sin. So we will just play this to get some free XP, like a Babus. And that's about it, man. And then I'm freaking chilling, right? Okay, we just get some free XP. We have infinite interest rate as well, because we had an economy start, and we got uh, raining gold. Our portal is golden prelude, so nothing special, just the golden augment. Raining gold, so we're super rich, yeah. And then we go for... We just go fast, level 8. Level 8, we roll down for a standard 4-cost con. I'm not sure what I'll play yet. I'm not sure what I'll play yet. Galio and Lee Sin are exalted. Galio and Lee Sin. Galio, Lee Sin. Lee Sin is nice. Duelist with Irelia. I think I'll just go sword. Because I'm dizzy. I don't know what to do. <clears throat> What should we do, guys? Uh, we play for a 4-cost comm. Kane is a melee assassin carry. Any is a tank. Ash is a ranged physical damage dealer. We could try Ash, actually. Like, the Ash from last game on the enemy side was pretty strong, right? She looked pretty fun. She looked pretty freaking fun. We can play Sniper for now. We could also just play Behemoth. Our wills alive. We're gonna do more, I think. We want some tankiness. All right, cool, cool, cool. What, what, what could we try, guys? What could we try? Caster Kaisa. We already tried Kaisa today. We already had uh, two games, actually, where we had a strong Kaisa on our board. So I don't think we'll do that again. We want some variety. 
I don't think you're supposed to sell the core every turn because it gives damage. Check the trait again. I am wrong. Sorry. <laughs> no worries, buddy. <laughs> no worries, buddy. I was a little bit flabbergasted. I don't know where the frick you could uh, read that the core gives you bonus damage. You can definitely sell it every turn. Okay, hold up. What do we do here? Behemoth? Behemoth? Eh. I'll just play a second Elune. Elune is, by the way, for the people who are wondering who the frick this is, this is Aphelios' sister. And TFT just, you know, put her in the game. They they create they created a model for her and they put her in the game. It's Aphelios' sister, she's never in League of Legends. And she's kinda thick as well, man. I'm just saying, Aphelios, man. Brother man, I'm just saying. Nah, I'm just saying, man. Holy fuck. Freak, she's kind of bad though, no? Oh man. Oh man, look at this. She's sitting on this freaking ring and it's just spilling all over. You feel me, man? It's just spilling everywhere. You feel me, guys? It's just spilling all over the place, guys. <laughs> you feel me, guys? Our wills alive. Okay. Exalted. So I keep getting this two, these two XP for free, like a babus. Uh, I don't think I lose this fight, right? Impossible to lose. We have two behemoth, which gives us bonus resistances on the behemoths, and when one of them dies, the nearest behemoth gains even more resistances for five seconds. Then we have um, Ghostly, which doesn't really do that much. It creates like specters on the enemies that um, make them take more damage. But like, I have two Eloons, right? And Eloon is a three cost. And a 3 cost should be able to do a lot of damage. Oh, I have a 2-star Elune! Do you, do you think we can go reroll Elune? Probably not, right? But I'll just use her as a 2-star until later. But, you know, she's actually really good. Like, she's a really good utility unit. Like, she's genuinely really good. I'll just play a second. Another Behemoth, another Shen. It's not bad. Okay, I mean, I'm for sure leveling here. I could double level, I'm so rich. But I, I wanna I wanna chill, I wanna chill. I don't wanna level again. Okay, honestly, I'm for sure leveling again. Did he did he did he surrender? He probably didn't like his augment or something. Because there's no rank on PBE, people just people just surrender when they don't like their augment or whatever. When they don't giga high roll. When it's on the prismatic or something. Ah, yeah. It's... Whatever, man. It's just one. It's fine. Okay, hold up. Hold up. So let me just use my brain here real quick. Let me just use my brain here real quick. So what she does is... She... She's very complicated. Let me just... Let me just get my augment first. Where else? Items 3. Blinding speed. Roll the dice. I mean, I could go for a reroll comp with Prismatic Ticket. Like, high key, I have so much gold. Is is Elune, is Elune reroll viable, guys? Is Elune reroll viable? Or no? Is Elune reroll viable? Or nah? Very? Really? Really, yes. Brother-sister duo, really? Is he actually good with her? She's getting nerfed? Oh, hell yeah, man. I'm, ab I'm abusing something broken for the first time. Like, last game we were playing this trash Kogma, man. For the second time. I knew he was trash. I played him anyway. Okay, let's analyze her then. Rain meteors through the row with the most total enemy health. Okay? So, you know, most total enemy health. Usually it's going to be the front line, but maybe they have a lot of backliners and then you're going to actually attack the backline instantly. Meteors deal magic damage, okay. Split among all enemies, I think. Magic damage split among all enemies. And then we probably, like, do you know the board? Is it, um, is it, uh, oh, we're at an encounter. 
Let's see what the encounter does. Way paints a dummy for the next five rounds. Gain one gold every time the, the, it survives player combat. Okay, sure. Uh, so how do we play Eloon? Is it is it with Umbral or what? It's probably with Umbral, right? I go full Umbral or what? Yeah, I mean, that's her only damage trait. Invoker and Umbral, both. Okay. Okay, let's put her on the Umbral spot because that's how she will be able to execute the enemies. Alright, cool. We got another dude. Okay, not bad. So what are her items though? Shojin or what? 60 mana? Is it Shojin? It's probably Shojin, right? 6 Umbral and four, the, the rest Invoker. So it's probably still Shojin, right? Shojin looks good to me. She's a caster. Cool. Okay. Shojin death cap. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Okay, good. Okay, so what is going to be her dual carry in the Umbral trait? So Umbral gives the units that are on these purple slots, on these purple hexes, a shield. And if it's an Umbral unit, they also gain the ability to execute enemies. Can I go Jewel Gauntlet on her? Probably, right? Probably, right? Like, like she, it, 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 it's a freaking... It's a it's a freaking uh, a loon. I, I need to take her, no? Oh, but I could also go Steadfast Heart as a tank item and then Greed um, Rabadons. Because Rabadons is better, right? Rabadons is way better. Holy frick, I have so many already. Okay, 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 okay. So let me just use my brain here. She's gonna get this. <laughs> so what is the second part of her ult? Deal to the cur uh, deal damage to the current target. All enemies hit are twenty percent shredded. So we don't need magic pen. She has magic pen. Okay. She deals additional damage to the current target she's focusing right now. And then she also grants 40% attack speed split among allies in a loon's row. So she juices attack speed on her and her friends in the back. Okay, okay. Okay. Okay, so right now she's getting cocked. <laughs> There's an invoker. I probably roll on 8, right? I should roll on 8, I think. Move the dummy from the back row. Oh man, you need to pay attention. I, I wanna I wanna try to farm one gold. Like I farmed one gold here, no? Um <laughs> Exalted. I mean I kinda wanna play Exalted, no? Might as well. If I'm playing one of the Exalted as a carry already. Might as well play Exalted, right? It's pretty good. Um Get rid of this trash, Caitlyn. Doesn't really do much. Umbral Bruiser, nice, nice. That's where it. That's where the Galio connects. We have Bruiser. Two Bruisers then. Okay, okay. It's getting better. We're getting there. We're getting there. We need Yone. We need Yone. We need Set. I think Set is also Umbral, right? Yone is Set. All right, all right. Okay, is she doing a lot of damage, by the way, guys? Is she cooking? She's, like, okay right now. And she executes people below 12% health, right? Because of Umbral. But we can get that up to... 20% um, execute. Okay. Okay, good, 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 good. There was an Umbral duelist, but I don't think I want to play Darius, man. That unit is not that good, but I guess I'll buy one. Okay, so I need to get rid of some of the units. This guy is exalted, though. Am I playing this guy? Warden? Probably not. Is there an Umbral Warden? Or no? Oh, that's Set, right? Set is a Warden, I think. 
or no? But I don't know if I'll hit set. Nice, we got Rabadons. I don't know if I'll hit set, you feel me? That's the problem with that. We get some more slots. They're in such awkward spots, though. Oh, wow. They're in very awkward spots, no? Or am I crazy? Okay. Okay, we got a duplicator as well. Uh, I think I'll just go for a Bramble. I'll just put it on him for now. I'll probably just go for a Thieves Glove. So what is her other trait? Nothing, right? It's just Invoker, okay. Is there a better Invoker I can play? There's a Legendary, what, who is that? Is that a Zir? Is that a Zir? It is. Let me just mark this freaking Aloon. Okay. Oh, she's kind of she's kind of cooking there. She definitely cooked there. No, she's doing 7.3k as soon as I gave her the Rabadons and went for Umbro. What shop? Or oh, was it the Yone? It's fine. Don't worry. We'll find we'll find the two star Yone. Don't worry. Bruiser's heal. I don't think we want this. Crash test dummies is not bad. Not today. I mean, is not today good? For my Umbral units. Like, I need a duo carry on Umbral. But set with with not today is probably not that good, right? Crown guarded. I mean, I'll probably just take Crash as dummies. Can't go wrong with that one. Give it a buck. Ghostly. Guys, I have- I'm so freaking dizzy, by the way. Like, I'm sure you noticed. I don't think we're playing, um... I don't think we're playing uh, the idiot, right? I don't think we're playing the idiot, right? Wait, what? <laughs> Bro, I'm so dizzy. How many more Eloons do I need? Two? I have a duplicator. Just need two more. I need more umbral units. I just need set. I have Yone right now. I mean level eight, I can maybe find set, who knows? Another encounter. Kindred offers you a temporary item, it's always the same thing, man. It's gonna give you just This is so buggy. It's always the same freaking item. Is is the is the girl even good? Is the girl even good? The any or no? Does anyone know? Oh what the frick! She's kind of good, probably. What the frick is this, man? I'm playing three Behemoth, by the way. Oh, she's probably pretty good. If I get a three star, you feel me, guys? We don't give a frick about this. Get a freaking three star like a babus. Sure. Okay, so you can only play six umbral if you hit the legendary or if you hit a emblem, huh? Okay. So six umbral, we need set. I mean, she's doing some impressive work. And the any, um, the any uh, jumps on Tibbers, and then after she uses her ult once, she transforms. Into Tibbers mode. Okay, isn't it rep buff? Like, isn't Loki rep buff completely fine on her? Yeah. Like, what's wrong? What's wrong with rep buff? Nothing, right? Rep buff is completely fine. Like, probably not the best item, but it's like fine here. And then I can go Thieves Love. That looks pretty good, right? True, any has heal reduction, but it takes some time for her to cast it. And like, I just want like the attack speed and the bonus damage will be good of rep buff, right? Shiv, Shiv would also be good. Yeah, Shiv would be pretty good. Not sure if I'm supposed to greet it though.
Uh, do we get rid of Exalted? We probably should, right? Like, it's kind of greedy what I'm doing. With this little health as well. Oh, we got the three star. Okay, so here what I have to do is... We need to lock this shop. Because I need, um... I need the thumbnail, guys. And I'm not gonna get the three star thumbnail. Unless I lock. Wait, wait. Maybe I can. No, see, it's a two star thumbnail. I, I need the thumbnail, guys. You feel me? So we waste one shop to get the thumbnail. Because during the fight, it doesn't show us three star. It's gonna show us three star now. Imagine the encounter bugs the bugs the freaking shop. <laughs> Diana offers you a treasure armory. This is bugged. This doesn't work. There we go. That's a clean thumbnail. Okay. And then I just want to level to play six juicers, right? I just want to level to play six juicers. But I probably don't play Behemoth, man. And now the entire thing is exalted. Wait, what is this? What is this special slot? Oh no, it's just the... Uh, it's it's the it's the it's the set it's the set passive okay, and then we just level play this guy for exalted and behemoth right, and who are we behemothing? Okay, that's not that good. Is there a better exalted unit? Galio, Lee Sin, Lee Sin. Do we have duelist? We do have duelist. Who's our duelist? Darius. I don't want to power him up. Caitlyn. We don't have a sniper. Okay, I mean I guess we just play behemoth because exalted is a good splash, right? Like it's good bonus damage. It's actually a good amount of bonus damage. Alright, it's not even bad. Okay. Not too bad, guys. And then we can try to 3-star any. And we see what items we get here. So now the whole thing is Umbral, which I, which I really like. I like this. It looks pretty cool, no? Uh, so let me just explain to you what this idiot does. So this guy benches, or not benches, squats the units at the start. And for each 1,000 health that he squatted, so you want to put him next to very tanky units. For each 1,000 health that he squats, he gets a uh, one permanent bonus attack damage. 1%, which is very cool. So I want to put him next to the tankiest units, which are our bruisers. Yeah. Put him next to the bruisers, like a babus. Okay, cool. I like this. Static shave. I mean, it's still gonna be a red buff on her, though. Still gonna be a freaking red buff on her. I probably should have given this to Silas, but I had a brain fart. And then static shift on somebody else. On any or something. Freak it on any. Because, like, um, rep up gives more damage than static shift for sure, man. I, I would say, right? Like, there's no way I'm wrong, right? Like, it's way more attack speed. It's percentage damage increase. And, like, I, with these items, I have to go Thieves' Glove. No, I'm not going double Last Whisper. Right? Like, I have to go Thieves' Glove. With the items that we have, so. This is all good. Set 2 incoming. Okay, we like this. We like this. This is not bad. This is not bad at all. This freaking Elune is doing well. She's doing a ton of damage. Really not bad. The any 3 star might happen if no one's contesting it. We'll see. I will probably level because I'm still getting 2 XP every turn. And I'm getting a bunch of bonus damage, right? 14% bonus damage from Exalted. And I will get even more. I will get 15% when I'm level... Um, when I'm level... Um, 10. Cool. Not too shabby, guys. And we just keep selling this. Okay. And we will keep Exalted in the fight. Anyway. Late game. Like, even level 10. Even though the 2 XP does nothing. Because it's 15% uh, current uh, damage bonus, right? It's pretty good. It's honestly pretty good. Not too bad. Let 
okay? I mean, eventually we'll get this any three, right? I feel like people are playing any though, otherwise I might have found more by now. Mm, he has one any, he has an any on bench, so he needs to die first. He has 22 health, that's pretty viable, and that's about it, no? Yeah, that's it. There's no other any player, so if he dies. So this guy. This guy dies, we're back. Our Iluna is safe in the back. Now, of course, it would be probably smarter to pair her up with some more ranged units, right? To make use of the attack speed buff. Let me see how much the attack speed buff scaled up. 40%. I think it didn't scale up at all. One star, two star, three star. It's the same buff, right? Yeah. 40% is a lot. Yeah, yeah. But I think it's the same as one star. Because sometimes these uh, utility effects also scale up with the star level, right? But I guess they, they really want her to just be a full damage dealer. Or, like, you don't 3-star her and then she's just dead. There is a 2-star two, a two set for me. But I probably won't get it. But also, like, do I even want it? I don't really want it. I'm not sure what I want, though. Like, these items are so trash. I think I'll just go Static uh, Ionic Spark. I know Ionic Spark is goofy. I know Ionic Spark is goofy. If you hear that, that's the thunder, guys. I hope my freaking... Uh, my freaking uh, electricity won't go out. GG. Um, okay, so, like, like, these items were so bad, right? Like, what could I have gone? Sterox or something? <laughs> the thunder confused me. You should be confused now. A boom, thunder. It was kind of spook spooky, huh? Um, like these items were just really bad, so we just take Ionic Spark. Make sure that everyone has Magic Pen applied to them, and uh, yeah, still better than a Sterox, right? Sterox on, uh, I don't know. Like I'm pretty sure he's a Magic Damage Dealer, or like, yeah, he's like a. Oh no, he just does full magic damage, huh? Dash around and slam, okay. And he heals a little bit. He's like a tanky magic damage dealer. Nice, we got set without rolling for it. Okay, 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 so far so good. We need a Yone too. Uh, did our friend die? No, he still has 22 health. And he hit 2 star any. He still has 22 health. He's playing 6 invoker, 5 mythic, pretty cool. He got Invoker Bard, pretty cool. Not bad. And he got a two-star uh, Azir. It's really not weak. He's really not weak. We need to kill him. But I don't know if I can kill him. He's actually really strong. Azir is a two-star legendary. Invoker as well. Uh, the game is bugged where we can't see the enemy health bars. Let's see if we can win. We do have a pretty impressive front line. We do have 750 shield on our entire team, which is a lot of, of tankiness. Guys, he just got wiped. <laughs> he just got wiped, by the way. What the frick was that? Deserved? Alright, 10 win streak. Ever since ever since we got 3 star Elune, we didn't lose a single time. Okay, no wonder she's getting nerfed, guys. Good, good thing she's getting nerfed. 2 invoker. Is there a better invoker we could have played? I mean, you know what is probably strong with her? Azir, right? He's a 5 cost invoker and he's gonna, like, instead of the Annie, and he's gonna give her or she's gonna give him attack speed which is definitely not bad, right? Makes him cast more. He casts a laser. Zero item set 4.5, 4.2k damage. Yeah, but it's, it's, it's Umbral, right? It's 6 Umbral and he's stacking a lot of attack damage already from the from the, from his passive, right? The guy's almost dead. Uh, okay, I really want a set item. Oh, true, Sterox is good on set. I'm a little bit dumb, huh? I should have taken Sterox. I should have absolutely taken Sterox. It's actually good on him, yeah. I mean, I'm just leveling, no? And then what am I playing, though? I could play Duelist. Yeah, I, I could just play an Irelia. She's gonna get attack speed from the Elune. And the Irelia is gonna um, juice up. Get more attack damage that way. 
because she can't get attack speed, right? She's the special unit that they they put a lot of effort into her uh, basic attack. You can see her blades weaving around the battlefield. That's her basic attack. Okay, I mean, I'm just going for... I'm not going for three-star set. Because I, I, I can't hit it. I don't think I can hit it. Another encounter. Working out with set makes you bigger. This one does nothing. It just makes us bigger. Oh, frick. That Morgana definitely is doing something to me. Holy frick, guys. You feel me? That Morgana is doing something to me. You smell me, guys. This this encounter does nothing. It's just for fun. It's just for fun. What? I mean, deserve. I mean, frick it. Deserve. Deserve. Hello? 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 Ah, man! Hey! What the frick is wrong with you, man? Does he have an any now? He doesn't, right? He does not have any. Does he have an any on bench? He does not. By the way, guys, I'm getting freaking shreked. I need any three to win this fight. Or to win this game. He's playing Soraka three star. That's kind of fun, no? That looks pretty fun. Three costs, three roll. Okay, frick it. I roll down to zero here. I mean, bro, I, I like I barely have any money. What do you mean to zero? It's ten gold. I'm rolling 60, f f f three gold, man. Guys, like, it's not funny, man. Shut up, Twitch chat, shut up. I'm on 200 MS. And it was the last shops I was, like, rolling too fast. I'm on 200 MS. It's not funny, Twitch chat. It's not funny. What the frick is wrong with you, man? Shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up. I'm not your grandpa. I'm not your grandpa, man. Don't call me grandpa. I'm not old. I'm not pushing 60. But you know what, brother man? You know what? Scratch that. I am your grandpa. Because your mother calls me daddy. You piece of garbage. <laughs> Subscribe, ringcation bell, if you enjoy these TFT videos. Also, make sure to leave an algorithmic comment and an algorithmic like down below to support this video in the algorithm so I can get some more views. And I'll see you next time.